Welcome everybody. So I had to come with you today with a code breakers update because of what just happened yesterday between President Trump and Kim Jong-un from North Korea. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my previous code breakers, um, you can go to our website at houseofdestiny.tv and click code breakers and go have a look at the code breakers I did on North Korea because uh, what I'm doing today is giving you a little update. And so I decided to come on Facebook Live and just hit it right away because this just happened yesterday and I was literally jumping up and down. And so um, uh, in, the, in the previous code breakers that I did, we, uh, we weren't sure what was going to happen. We were just seeing that there was this plan for Trump to meet with Kim Jong-un and there'd been all this fighting before and, t and tweeting and, and craziness. And um, there was a plan to meet and then we didn't know if, if they were going to meet. And, you know, it's kind of all been up in the air, like what's going to happen? But the most important thing about this is that my dad, years ago, back in 2009, and before, all the way back to 2006, was prophesying that there would be a united Korea. And um, so I wanted to just kind of touch base with you today and give you a little update. And I know you know what's going on in the news, most of you, but I'm giving you the, the prophetic perspective and um, a little code breaking on dad's prophecies. And so yesterday, they finally met Donald J. Trump and Kim Jong-un met in Singapore. Now, we had thought that they were going to meet at the, at the border of North and South Korea, which would have been cool, but uh, they figured it out and met in, in Singapore yesterday, and it was, it was quite amazing. I remember uh, uh, walking past the TV, looking up. I'm, I just got done moving, so I haven't really been up on the news too much. And I, I walked past the TV, and I saw... Kim Jong-un and, 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 and our president shaking hands and just blew me away. I was just jumping up and down. It was so exciting. So I just want to do a little recap today. And a lot of you have seen these two prophecies before, but a lot of you haven't. So I want to play you a prophecy my dad gave on April 4th of 2009 in Seattle, Washington. And this is prior to the death of Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il. So let's take a look at that prophecy quick. South Korea, North Korea shall become one, says the Lord. North Korea, your president is dead. He is already dead. I've already written now on the wall. Many, many, take a pasa. God said, your days are numbered. You have been counted in the balances. Therefore, Kim, it is now time now for you to face this that you have done has been iniquitous you are no longer alive you are a vegetable you are dead your brain dead and god said because of that i will cause that to bring about unity in south and north korea and the greatest move of the spirit shall come from there america shall look and say what is this happening we thought we could make peace through united nations hey what is the united nation it is an evil force says the lord that is a stench to my nostrils they are not what I have called, God said, my church shall arise and invade the kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of this world shall become the kingdoms of our God and His Christ, says the Lord. Come on! Yeah. Come on. Okay, so, first of all, that was an amazing, powerful night. That whole night was unbelievable. But the important thing to notice in, in that particular prophecy is that my dad was seeing that uh, Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, was going to die. And, um, of course, that happened. Kim Jong-un comes into power, and, uh, you know, we're thinking, okay, you know, nothing's going to change. This is just all going to be the same. But my dad saw, and God showed him, a united Korea. And that's something we've been standing on and praying about for a very long time. And it's one of those impossible things that you would never think could happen. And so before we go any further, I want to play you a prophecy my dad gave, which was New Year's Eve of, of uh, 2014 going into 2015. So it was December 31st. And this is what he had to say about Kim Jong-un. I heard a multitude of sounds. 
I heard celebration because of victories. Putin, you have insulted me, says the Spirit of God. Little Kim, not me. You have offended me. You shall not live like your father lived. I shall not allow the corruption that has been in North Korea to continue. I have told the earth there shall be a united Korea. I have told the earth that I will bring the greatest revival in North Korea, South Korea together. And then in China, there shall be a flame that shall burn and touch the world and even bless Israel, says the Lord. Okay. So I know a lot of you have seen those prophecies before. I've shown them to you a couple of times. Those of you who've watched Code Breakers, those of you who have, who have seen a, uh, the last um, Facebook Live I did on North Korea. But I really think it's important to watch them over and over again because as things change and events transpire, you go back and you look at it again, and then a lot of things will make sense. One thing that really stood out to me about this is that my, my, when my dad was prophesying about little Kim, um, and I thought it was funny he made that joke about not him. Um, but little Kim would not live as his father lived. And so that to me, um, regardless of, of maybe some of the terrible things that he's done, um, uh, there's a redemptive element to this. And so um, I don't know, I, I, as I saw this in the news and his cooperation and, and everything, it just kind of seems to be coming together to me and, and the picture is now becoming clearer and so that's why I wanted to show you both of those prophecies again so now I'd like to show you a news clip of Kim Jong-un with our president Donald Trump and they're signing agreements and that also makes me think of something my father prophesied many years ago I believe he was in Nashville Tennessee and this is just coming to my head right now but he said he saw the next president, and so this was during Obama's presidency, so he was seeing the next president, and he said, I see him being decisive. I see him making decisions. I see him signing things. And that's just come to my head right now. So um, there's so many little clues that were given to us about the time that we're in right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at the news. So we're signing a very important document pretty comprehensive document, and we've had a really great term together, a great relationship. Uh, I'll be giving a news conference at 2.30, which is in a little bit less than two hours, and we'll discuss this at great length. In the meantime, I believe that they'll be handing it out on behalf of Chairman Kim and myself, and we're both very honored to sign the document. Thank you. 중요한 문서에 서명을 하게 될 것입니다. 이 문서는 굉장히 포괄적인 문서이고 오늘 굉장히 좋은 아주 훌륭한 회담을 가졌고 또 아주 좋은 관계를 구축하였습니다. 2시 반, 즉 다시 말해서 약 2시간 후에 나는 기자회견을 할 예정입니다. 거기서 좀더 자세하게 말씀을 드리겠습니다만은 어 일단 그 와중에 그 그동안에는 발표문이 기자들에게 배포될 것으로 알고 있습니다. 감사합니다. Would you like to say something to the press? 오늘 역사적인 이 만남에서 지난 과거를 돕고 새로운 출발을 알리는 그 역사적인 문건에 서명을 하게 됩니다. Today, uh, we had a historic meeting and decided to leave the past behind and we are about to sign a historic document. 세상은 아마 중대한 변화를 보게 될 것입니다. The world will see a major change. 오늘과 같은 이런 자리를 위해서 I would like to express my gratitude to President Trump to make this meeting happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So 
We're starting that process very quickly. Very, very quickly. Absolutely. You'll be seeing everything in just a little while. Uh, the letter that we're signing is very comprehensive, and I think both sides are going to be very impressed with the result. A lot of goodwill went into this, a lot of work, a lot of preparation. I want to thank uh, everybody on both sides, uh, Secretary Pompeo and all of his counterparts. They were absolutely fantastic. 네, 조금 후에 그 우리가 서명한 발표문의 내용에 대해서 꼭 알게 될 것입니다. 아까도 얘기했습니다만은 매우 포괄적인 그러한 문서이고 아, 양측의 그 결과에 대해서 굉장히 만족할 만한 결과입니다. 아, 이 문서를 서명하고 또 이런 그 만남을 갖기 위해서 많은 사람들이 선의를 가지고 노력했고 또 많은 준비 작업이 있었습니다. 그 양측의 그러한 작업을 해주신 분들에 대해서 감사드립니다. 거기에는 폼페오 장관뿐만 아니라 아, 조선 측의 그러한 여러 참여자분들에게 감사드립니다. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you a little bit later. And we're very proud of what took place today. Uh, I think our whole relationship with North Korea and the Korean Peninsula is uh, it's going to be a very much different uh, situation that it has in the past. We both want to do something. We both are going to do something. And we have developed a, a very special bond. So uh, people are going to be very impressed. People are going to be very happy. And we're going to take care of a very big and very dangerous problem for the world. And I want to thank Chairman Kim. Uh, spent a lot of time together today, very intensive time. And I would actually say that it worked out for both of us far better than anybody could have expected. I think far better. I watched the various news reports. I would say far better than anybody even predicted. And this is going to lead to more and more and more. And uh, it's an honor to be with you. Very great honor. Thank you. Thank you to all of your representatives very much. Uh, 또 둘의 특별한 관계가 오늘 시작되었습니다. 그리고 어, 우리는 아주 여러 가지 그 중요한 여러 가지 문제의 해결에 시작을 했다라고 말씀드릴 수가 있습니다. 김 위원장님께 감사드리고 또 내가 보기에는 오늘 만남이 그 누가 기대했던 것보다 또그 누가 예측했던 것보다도 좋은 만남이고 좋은 결과로 이루, 이루어질 것 같습니다. 또 앞으로 더 많은 진척이 있을 것 같고 어, 이렇게 만나게 된 것을 영광으로 생각합니다. 김 위원장님 감사합니다. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Wow. So, you see that? Now, that is amazing. And it's just, it fills me with so much hope because um, this, is, this is what the prophetic really is about. It's that God gives you a glimpse of something in the future. And when you see it come to pass, it, it, it's, it's just, I don't, I don't know, I can't even explain how it makes me feel, especially... Um, that my dad saw it. I'm so proud of him right now, but also just so amazed at how God, how God is. And um, I have in front of me a news article because they were signing stuff over there. So I just wanted to kind of fill you in on what they're signing. And in case you don't know, um, uh, first of all, this is the first historic sum summit held yesterday in Sing Singapore between the United States of America. Uh, obviously President Trump and uh, the leader of North Korea. And they had um, an exchange of opinions and issues related to the establishment of new relations and the building of a lasting and robust peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. That's what my dad was seeing. And um, as far as what they were signing, the United States and North Korea commit to establish new U.S. Uh, North Korea relations in accordance with the desire of the people of the two countries for peace and prosperity. 
The United States and North Korea will join their efforts to build a lasting and stable peace regime on the Korean Peninsula, reaffirming the um, Panmunjom Declaration. I couldn't pronounce that. <laughs> but it commits to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Now that is great news. And uh, the United States and North Korea commit to, to recovering uh, POW, MIA remains, including the immediate repatriation of all of those already identified. So having acknowledged this summit, the first in history, it was an event of great significance in overcoming decades of tensions and hostilities between the two countries and for the opening up of a new future. I love that. The opening up of a new future. And President Trump and Kim Jong-un commit to implement the stipulations in this joint statement fully and expeditiously. Love it. Love it. And so I just wanted to just take a minute today, jump up here on Facebook and share this with you because this is a momentous time that we're in. And um, my dad saw it. There are others who saw it. And we may just begin to see uh, a complete fulfillment of this prophecy, which is what I'm closely watching amongst many others. And so before I go, I've got to remind you to watch our broadcasts. We're still here every Wednesday and Saturday at houseofdestiny.tv. And um, also on kim.tv, I'm doing Prophetic Rewinds, uh, which is a look back at some great, amazing moments with my dad over his 40 years of ministry. And I release that every Monday, and so I encourage you to go and watch those every Monday on Kim.tv. I've also launched a podcast called Secrets, and you can find it on iTunes and Google Play. Just search Secrets Pod Podcast. Uh, I think my name's on it. Is my name on it? No? Okay, so just search Secrets Podcast. And um, anybody who wants to have a look at the Prophecy Database, it's now on our app. So on all platforms, you can download our app. House of Destiny, just search it on there and download it. You're going to love it. The app's awesome. It has code breakers on there. It has moments with Kim. It has our broadcast. It has prophetic rewind. It has everything. And so, you know, why wouldn't you download it? It's awesome. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today and keep praying about this with Korea. We want to see that united Korea. We want to see the people in North Korea um, you know, delivered from this, this bondage that they've been in. And uh, I, I believe in my heart that we're going to start to see that happen. So let's keep praying about it. And I love you all, and thank you for, for joining me today. Mm -hmm.